Of course, you got to have these little tinches of Spanish in it uh, in order to play real good jazz. Uh, jazz has a foundation that must be very prominent, especially with the bass sections, in order to give a great background, uh, plus what's called riffs today, uh, which was known as figures, but figures has, hasn't always been in the dance bands. I'll give you an idea what uh, the, the idea of Spanish there is in the blues. <laughs> I said that maybe the whole tune belonged to me, although my name is on it. It's supposed to be arranged by Mr. Joe Jordan, but these arrangements were made also by myself. Uh, there's a man that used to teach me to play piano. I'll have to give him credit for some contribution to this tune. His name was Frank Richards. He was older than I was. He was on the ragtime order, but he was a very good player as far as it went, although he was incapable of instructing anybody along music in the very, that is, for a very short ways, that's all he could go. He couldn't go very far because he didn't know so very much about music himself. But at least in the early days, in my beginning on piano, he was the first one that started my instructions, and I thank him greatly for that. His name is Frank Richards. I mentioned it before, but I want to be sure that you get his name correctly. Frank Richards. What part of the blues did he contribute? Uh, well, I, I claim that his, his contribution was more in the perfection way. Uh, the melodies were all mine, but I believe that he could do much better than I could with it because uh, he made a lot of corrections that probably would have gone maybe haywire. And of course, I've kept the tune ever since. It's one of my first tunes. As, uh, as I before said, maybe you may be able to uh, notice the Spanish tinge, but you must have a powerful background. Uh, for instance, those days, the used La Paloma was uh, one of the great Spanish tunes. You know, New Orleans was inhabited with maybe every race on the face of the globe. And, of course, we had Spanish people. There are plenty of them, and plenty of French people. Of course, I'll, I may demonstrate a little bit of La Paloma uh, to show you that the tinge is really in there. in the tempos, the fact that the tempos wasn't always correct. And uh, I heard a lot of Spanish tunes, and I tried to play them in correct tempo myself. And uh, I did possibly play them very correct in tempos, but I wasn't altogether satisfied with some of the melodies. I decided uh, to write some of them myself. I will now try to play one for your approval. Now, this number is Creepy Feeling.